meeting date May 28, 2019 will now come to order. Minutes of the previous meeting held May 14, 2019. Comments, corrections? Can we approve the written? A uh, second. No. I, there were a couple yeah. amendments. Uh, there were some names listed that, that weren't here, and I need to make that am amendment. Okay. Move as a... As amended. Uh, Doc, as amended. Okay. I'll Move to private second. All in favor? Aye. Aye, Sam. Okay. Uh, Chris, you're up. I'll take you through page one on the cash flow quick. We um, took in $589,654 for the month, and we spent uh, $458,962, not including any transfers. Our uh, inventory purchases were minimal, and our capital expenditures were just around 4700 $4, for the month. 4700 right? 4700 yeah. Yeah, okay, I thought you $47,000. Okay. Left us an ending cash balance of 738418 We're dropping a little bit. On page two, just point out that our metered uh, residential and commercial revenues are a little lower than the <laughs> forecast and the prior year. Um, most of the items on the expense side are pretty close to the forecast, except for our water treatment was up. We had a extra high NIPSCO bill. I think there was a timing issue there. Um, left, it, left us a net income for the month of 21299 There's nothing unusual there. Um, page three. The only thing that was out of uh, uh, excuse me, go back to two. We're still here to date for income of seventy one thousand. And last year was ninety eight thousand. We are seeing more expenses that we. I don't think the revenues are coming up as fast with the cold weather and all the rain. That makes sense. Okay. Yeah, we actually see your rain report for next month of May. I've got our forecast for the, the month. forecast for year to date. Three fifty three. So look at look at April and right here in, in rain for two thousand nineteen on the first page. You can see there's quite a bit more rain than we had. Right, right. Yeah. Wow. I don't want to see maize. That's the one. That's gonna be. A, <laughs> that's gonna be just like it. Probably works. Yeah. Okay. On uh, page three. Um, um, materials and supplies was a little bit elevated. We had some uh, ammonia and chlorine parts we purchased, as well as some backhoe parts and a little bit of service done there. Grand total was about $5,100. Everything else was, was pretty close. I did bump up our bad debt a little bit over forecast because we wrote off a couple larger accounts. Uh, against prior year. <laughs> on page five, um, I just wanted to point out on our improvement funds and our paint painting funds, we had a couple of CDs that matured, so we cashed those in and um, wrote out a couple of checks for some new ones. And then down on the bottom, I listed the three CDs that matured with their interest revenues that we got. So, if there's any questions, that's all there is. And uh, the other thing, too, our personnel is now up to date. We got a total of 39 people back on, on board, so we should be set for a while. Any more comments, questions? Approve the financial report. And second. Represented. Move to the Senate. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Aye, Senate. Motion carried. That's four. Purchase orders. Okay, you got five items here. Um, biggest item listed is the brass for stock, which would be for inventory and also capital when used. 
And then Crone uh, Crane said so it's a three-year renewal. The price was the same as what it was the last three years. So, what do we take off the tank at Carroll Ave? Remove? We're gonna we're gonna remove some radio equipment up there and some of those stand stand pipes that are up there for the tank painting project. Mm -hmm. So we're gonna get rid of some of those antennas up there. So we're not gonna replace them. No, no. they're useless. Or? Yeah, they're they're in use, un, unused. Okay. So. And when we do the Hitchcock Street tank, we got some more out there to take take off, but we'll do that at that time. So, okay. Is there any salvage use for them? So some of those are belong to the police department. They're, they don't use them since they went to the new radio frequency. So uh, the only ones that are going to be remaining up there is ours for our radio system, our SCADA system, and the fire department has a VF. VHF antenna system up there. They're gonna maintain the less and less antenna. Yeah, yeah. Ham operators like to use them. <laughs> so for our fee. <laughs> um, other than that, that's all we got on on this. Okay. A little business. Uh, yeah, I just want to let you know on the Sheridan Beach improvements. There were two projects out there. The Dune Lane uh, project is moving forward. The easement descriptions have been complete. Uh, our attorney has those descriptions so we can write the grant of easement form and then once those go to the owner for review and, and signature, we'll, we'll start moving forward on that Dune Lane project a little more. Uh, we had two people then pay for the service upgrades along Carolina Ave and, and uh, uh, Colfax Ave down there, and last week, I, or last meeting, I reported we we're going to hold back until we heard from them, and two of them paid. So that one we're going to move forward on that to get that started. So, And then lastly, uh, our tank painting project uh, will start shortly. They're going to start moving equipment in if the weather would hold out. <laughs> so all, that's all I got on that. Uh, any uh, further information on loves? Um, from what I understand, there's there's uh, issues between Loves and the high pressure gas pipelines going through there, and I don't know if that is going to move forward or not. But that's out of our our area. So, but uh, I abandoned. Huh? Well, for that particular part of the project, but I think the county is still looking at possibly going through with theirs. But again. I think it's going to all relate going back to whether this loves comes in for tax revenue at some point. Mm. Any uh, other thing on the Mulligan Street uh, four inch main? No, that, I main. think that that might be dead. I don't know. What about Wally? Um, so I heard from him. He's disappointed because the price was so high. But I told him that he needs to come in and I can show him how it's broke down and then you can just pay for what you need to have. But I gave him the total price and you know, I asked him a question, and it doesn't make any difference if it, he couldn't give it his price to you any cheaper either, because his price keeps going up. So, but it doesn't work for us that way. So, anyway, he's he's gonna come in sometime this week and talk to him. Any other little business? New business? And again, just a reminder that we'll be meeting next Tuesday, June fourth. Uh, due to the water conference in Denver on June 11th, so we're moving that meeting up. And then we'll return back after that meeting back to our well, June meeting. 20, whatever meeting it is, 25th meeting. Who's going to that conference? Larry and I. Just doing that. Okay, do you have any public comment from all of our public? No public comment. Okay. Hearing none, I so move we adjourn. I second. Two or five seconds, meeting adjourned. All in favor? Aye. 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 A